Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna see switch statement, the statement that allow us to make a decision from the number of choices is called switch. In program, when there are many options are available and you need to choose one of them, then we use switch statement. Let's see the syntax of switch statement. First, write the keyword switch and within parenthesis, write an expression. The result of the expression will be an integer value. Then a pair of curly braces and inside the curly braces write the case constant. First write the keyword case and then give a integer or character constant. Each constant in each case must be different from all the others. If the constant which we assign here is equal to the result of this expression then execute this statement. If the result of this expression is equal to the this constant then execute this statement and if the result of this expression is not match with any of the case constant then execute default statement. Let's see how switch is used in a program. Here we first create an integer type variable int n then we write our switch statement switch a pair of parentheses and a pair of curly braces. Now here we write an expression. I told you the expression evaluates an integer value. So you can write here any expression which evaluates an integer. So you can write here 4 plus 2 or 4 divided by 2 or you can write here n plus 2, n multiplication 2 etc. But here we use simply n. And now write the case constant inside the body of the switch. First write the keyword case and then give a constant. Here I use one and then give the colon. Under this case write some statement. I am gonna write here printf statement to print something to the screen. So write here printf and I would like to write here I am in case one. Whatever value we assign to the variable n, switch search the case constant for that value. If we assign n equal to 1, then switch search for the case constant 1 and it find here. So whatever we write under the case constant 1 will be execute. So it execute this printf statement. Similarly, we write case 2 and case 3 also. So copy it and paste here paste right here 2 and here I am in case 2 here 3 and here I am in case 3 give a slash n here also n. if the value of n is not match with any of the case constant then execute default statement so write here default case now I am gonna assign n equal to 1 now execute the statement run it you can see here it print I am in case 1 I am in case 2, I am in case 3 and the default case also. The reason is that I assign here n equal to 1 and then switch statement search for the case constant 1 and it find here then it execute this printf statement. After executing this statement there is no way to come out from the switch. So it execute other statement also. If you want that only case 1 will be execute and then get out of the switch then use break statement. So add a break to each case, write here break, there is no need to add a break statement after the default. The reason is we write the default case at last so the control come out of the switch after executing default statement. Now compile it and run it. Now it print I am in case 1 and now change the value of 1 to 2. Compile it and run it. Now it print I am in case 2 and 
now assign n equal to 5 when we assign n equal to 5 5 is not matched with any of the case constant so it now execute default statement check it I am in default one thing I must say you can put the cases in any order so I cut this case constant cut it and paste here here case constant 2 is first then came case 1 then case case 3 this case also you get the same output compile and run I am in case 2 that's all hope you understand see you in next tutorial thank you for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe this channel